Hello, my name is Yelena Moiseva and I am a lead for main market integration testing for Exec Pro Company. And uh, today I would like to speak briefly about reconciliation in testing and in live production systems. So what is recon reconciliation? It is a process of finding, uh, detecting discrepancies in data obtained from different sources. For example, in financial markets, data reconciliation systems can help to reconcile trade, cash, securities flows, balances and positions uh, between different systems to reconcile data stored by uh, trading participants with, for example, data received from <coughs> counterparties. Uh, what is reconciliation testing? It is an automated process of uh, system validation aimed at finding discrepancies in data flows generated by other activities. So what can we say about uh, reconciliation testing? Um, it requires special tools. It provides the passive uh, execution of the test as the approach allows to perform data consistency checks without initiating any additional message flow. Uh, the ability of uh, reconciliation tools um, to validate the system under <coughs> the production rates and volumes provides uh, uh, the good possibility uh, uh, for functional and non-functional uh, testing activities and makes uh, the tools uh, useful test oracles. Um, the reconciliation tools also can highlight uh, discrepancies in large data sets um, and uh, these results of Detected results can be easily <coughs> further analyzed by both functional, uh, non-functional, or operational teams. Um, and now several words about production reconciliation tools. Um, these uh, actually automated verification tools that work as testing ones, uh, but with live system data feeds. So all the aspects and benefits of uh, testing reconciliation tools can be uh, also applicable to the production reconciliation tools. You can implement reconciliation as end-of-day, periodic or real-time process. Of course, the optimal implementation approach should be uh, chosen after risk analysis, considering the balance between um, infrastructure costs and possible losses due to data inconsistencies detected not in time. Um, Taking into account all the aspects and the possibility of some reconciliation systems to provide the whole process of extracting, transforming and gathering the data, such tools can be used as independent control mechanisms for both uh, <coughs> uh, for all complex infrastructure systems. And now let me digress for a moment to tell you two short stories that in some degree related to data reconciliation. Uh, the system used by one successful high-frequently trading company uh, contained necessary reconciliation controls. However, it appeared that they were not properly uh, configured and they were not properly tested. The changes introdu introduced to the production system um, were deployed on seven servers, servers instead of eight as was expected. And this resulted in um, uncontrolled order submission to the markets. Without Proper data reconciliation, the operational team was unable to identify the problem for about 45 minutes. Um, the presence of reconciliation controls can be dangerous too. For example, one of the, <coughs> uh, one of the uh, largest IPO in the history for the world largest uh, social network uh, was impacted by real-time reconciliation mechanism going um, into infinite loop due to unexpectedly high number of orders and ongoing cancellations. And uh, uh, in a conclusion, I would like to say that uh, large-scale technology disasters are rarely a consequence of a single factor. Mostly, they result uh, from a set of flaws of software development and maintenance processes. And data reconciliation tools can be used as additional uh, protection for complex infrastructures. And of course, you need to properly test your reconciliation systems as they will be a critical part of your platform. Thank you for your attention.